Next, I have the honor of saying thank you to someone who laid the foundation upon which I stand literally as a head rust and leading NBJC. Earl D. Folks Jr. is the president and founder and CEO emeritus of the Center for Black Equity. Has anybody been to a Black Pride event? We have Earl to thank for that, for creating the space for us to show up as we are, intentionally and unapologetically. The Center is an international Black LGBTQ plus and same gender loving advocacy organization comprised of those Black Pride affiliates. And he is the first Black person to be elected chair of the Democratic National Committee's LGBTQ caucus. You might not have met him, but you have been touched by his work. I promise you, please give him the round of applause that he deserves. That's my niece. I want to, I want to really thank uh, David and his team and NBJC. I remember when they started. Um, Alexander Robinson was the first executive director, then Sharon Letman took over, and then she handed it off to someone who's expanded the mission of this organization and made it relevant. There's a reason why Out in the Hill is important, especially during this election year. We need to be visible, not just in the streets, not just in our clubs, not just in our organizations, but in our politics. We need to remind the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation that we are part of our community and we're not going away. And you have to include us if you want to move forward. Period. Period. So I, I'm only as good as the people who I'm surrounded with. And I've been surrounded with a lot of great people. Jeffrey Richardson, who would, I wouldn't be actually involved in politics, politics if it wasn't for him. And I still am angry at him, as it have been 15, 20 years later. But there's a room full of people who I know and who worked with me. And it makes retirement easy. This is easy to retire, because I'm not really retiring. I'm stepping away, turning over leadership to someone who's younger, because it's time for the David Johns of our world to step forward and take over. Yeah. Just like Biden stepped aside, I'm not comparing myself to Joe Biden. <laughs> But in the same t tone, I did it first. In the, same, <laughs> in the same token, it's important for us to step aside and let our, let our people who are capable of doing so leading our movement. And it's time that people like me, we're, it's, we've had our time. And it's and that's, and that's fitting that I'm here my, just a couple of months after, a couple of weeks after I retired. It's fitting them at MBJC, and I want to wish David and his comp and his people and our community the best of success. I'll be there to root you on just like you rooted me on. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Y'all know how this goes. <laughs> Give her all another round of applause.